How's it going everyone? My name is Justin, I'm with the Keeper Home Team, and this is our channel, Everything Jacks Real Estate. In today's video, we're going to be going over the market update report for August of 2023 as it pertains to Mandarin. Now, Mandarin is a specific area within Duval County, which is considered near Jacksonville. And Mandarin is a very popular destination for a lot of people who you know, live in the area, but also a lot of people who relocate to the area. So definitely, you're going to want to stay tuned because when I come back, I'm going to be going over all the data as it concerns August for Mandarin. So before we get started, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and ring that bell so you get notified and post more content like this in the future. All right, so let's get started off. So we're gonna start off with going at looking at the pendulous ratio. The pendulous ratio measures how many homes are under contract in relation to how many homes are still currently available for the month of August. So in this scenario, we had 497 sales go under contract, which left 866 listings still available. This gave us a pendulous ratio of 36.5%. The higher the ratio, the more competition there is for you as a buyer. The lower the ratio, the more competition there is for you as a seller. So at 36.5%, that's a pretty high percentage, uh, which does go to show that this area is still a very heavy um, seller's market area. Now, when we take a closer look, you'll see here that homes in the five, $600,000 price range had the relatively largest number of contracts pending. We also noticed that homes in the four to $500,000 price range had the largest amount of homes uh, you know, uh, available that did not sell or go under contract at 200. We also saw that the median list price for all properties was $535,000, which is also in that same relatively uh, you know, range of the majority of pendings under contract. Now, we also can see here from this graph that this measures the properties for sale in relation to the contracts pending. And so what you can see here is the contracts pending up to about $300,000 almost runs parallel almost on top of properties for sale. So in essence, if you're looking to buy under 300,000 in Mandarin, you're gonna have a lot of competition because there's not a lot of homes available because the majority of them are already on contract. Now what you do see is homes in the four to five to $600,000 price range, you do have a little more options and then it starts to go back down as you go over 700,000 where a lot of uh, you know the options you may have wanted are already under contract. Now, in the last six months, we saw that 2,167 homes sold that were under contract. Uh, in, in the last six months, the mean sold price was $485,000. That's less than the list price currently, but that's still a really good number for this area. Now, we also saw that a total of 411 homes failed to sell. Homes can fail to sell for multiple reasons. Sometimes due to price, sometimes due to location, sometimes due to marketing, sometimes it can be just because the seller decided not to, not to sell. You know, it can be many different reasons. Now, as we look here at days on market, you're gonna see here that the active listings days on market, these are homes that did not go under contract, was 48 days. So homes that are still on the market right now have been on the market for an average of 48 days. Now, when we start to look at in the last six months, in the last month, how that stacks up to the current active homes, we can see that homes that sold in the last six months sold in 36 days. So 12 days less. It's really good. It means that if it's a good home, it's selling quicker than the majority of homes that are market currently. Now, what we see here for the past month is we see that it took 39 days for, homes, for the homes to sell. We're actually seeing the days of market go up and we're also actually seeing the price go down. So in the last six months, homes that sold had a median price of $485,000. In the last month, that number was $470,000. So what does, all, what does this all mean? What this all means is prices and data market are relatively going down and up in the past month compared to the last six months. But it doesn't mean that's gonna stay that way. Could still go that direction as we go into the last quarter of this year. Could actually flip-flop and we could see the market go down, especially as we get to December, and we could see price of homes also potentially go up. Now the median list to sales ratio for the area was 98.1%. This ratio is really good because what this tells you is this tells you what did a home list for and what did it sell for and what's the percentage difference. So in essence, homes were selling for 98.1% of what they were being listed for. It's a pretty good number. You know, it, it's one of the low numbers we've seen since COVID has occurred. Um, and so what I can tell you as a buyer is it means that you do have the ability to negotiate. 
And what I can tell you as a seller is you're gonna have to, you know, negotiate a little bit as well on your own. You may have to give up on some stuff to, you know, help a buyer get through the process, you know, help make them happy. Um, whether if it's paying for some closing costs or coming off that list price a little bit, which again is a very healthy way of going about it in a typical market. You know, we're no longer in that COVID market. We're now in, we're getting back to more of that typical market. Now, when we look at the absorption rate for the area, absorption rate. Absorption rate is, in essence, a measure of how many months of inventory you have on the market at any given time. And so in essence, for August, you know, look at the last six months, we had 2.4 months of inventory. So the absorption rate was 2.4. What that means is if no new homes hit the market in the next 2.4 months, or call it 75 days, we'd be out of homes to sell here in Mandarin. It's a pretty, pretty good number. Now, what that still means, it still means it's a very heavy seller's market. However, it means that it's not as heavy a seller's market as it was. And put it all in perspective, in a market that's not a seller's market or a buyer's market, we normally will have six months of inventory. In a market that's a very heavy buyer's market, we'll have more than six months. And during the recession, we actually had more than 12 months in some areas, more than 24 months in some areas. So again, as a buyer, you do have the ability to negotiate, but you do have to keep in mind it still is a seller's market for the most part. So as we continue to move down, we're gonna look at these two graphs, medium sold price and medium days on market. And what we can see, and again, don't worry about September because those numbers are not finalized. What we can see is the median sold price for August is about in line with you know, July and, and June. And it's definitely a big jump up from where we were at in April and May. And to be honest, June's numbers are prob probably why you saw the six month number being higher than the one month number for, for sold price. Now we all see here meeting days on market for um, August was just under 35, um, which is again, it's still pretty much in line with June, July. Lastly, we're gonna look here at this table. So this table is a great reference point when you really wanna break down uh, what the absorption rate is for each price range. And what you can see here is really, if you're under $500,000 for your price point, for Mandarin, you're gonna be in a hyper seller's market because you're under three months of inventory. In some of those price points, you're under two months of inventory. And so ultimately all it means is you need to make sure you're working with a professional who knows the market, who knows how to negotiate when it's a hyper seller's market to help get you the best deal possible, which sometimes could just mean getting the house. Um, now, obviously, as you go higher in price point, you have five to six, six to seven, seven to eight, you do sort of see that there's a little bit more inventory, maybe a little less buyers. So that definitely does help your chances when it comes to negotiating and trying to get the best deal possible at those price points. And for the most part, the area is all seeing under six months of inventory, even at the higher price points, like 1.4 million or and up. Um, and so ultimately, it just means that it's a very popular area, which is the case with Mandarin. Um, and so we don't really foresee that changing all that much you know, in future months. So that's the end of this video. Definitely don't hesitate. My content information is down below. Feel free to you know, hop on my calendar. My calendar link's down there as well. Give me a call. I would love to discuss and further your home search uh, needs, whether if you're relocating here to Mandarin or if you're already here in Mandarin, maybe looking to buy your first house or your next house. Uh, definitely want to help where I can. My whole goal is to help find the best fit for you, help make the process as least stressful as possible for you, and help you become a homeowner if you're not one already. Because again, there's a lot of benefits to, to being a homeowner, to having your own house, to building equity. So overall, definitely look forward to talking to you guys more soon, hopefully on my calendar or, or a phone call. But uh, I'll also see you guys in the next video, and we'll go from there. Till next time.